And now to a nuisance for some residents in a Lauderdale Isles. They say they're worried for their own safety after men with long pellet guns have actually been shooting at iguanas along the South Fork uh, New River. Well, the shootings are happening near homes. Local tenants Ray Ramos is latest on their growing concerns. Residents who live in this area tell me without a doubt the iguanas are a problem, but shooting those animals from a boat on this waterway that's surrounded by homes is not the safe solution. I'm swimming in the pool and I hear <laughs> pop pop. These images of men with long guns drawn in a small boat riding along the South Fork New River alarming Lauderdale Isle residents in Fort Lauderdale. It's, it's frightening. To be clear, the weapons they're using are pellet guns, and what they're shooting are iguanas. But at first glance, that's not likely your first guess. They had three guys, rifles, looking around, and then I heard a few more pops. David Lachance tells me this all continues to happen right behind his home, and while he and his neighbors know these iguanas are becoming an overwhelming nuisance. We've had to decide what foliage to put where because they do eat a lot of the stuff that's here, and, and I don't like that. They poop all over the dock. The way this group is getting rid of them is a major concern for those who live along the waterway where the shots are being fired from. I sent this video to FWC now investigating the matter who sent me this statement that read in part, it's illegal to shoot any projectile over or across the private property of another without permission, including when on a canal. Florida statute 810.09 makes it a felony offense to discharge any potentially lethal projectile over or across private land without authorization. Well, David and his neighbors say they will find other ways to try and control the rising iguana population in their area. They are just hopeful this invasive group stays away, never to return. Find a way to do it without guns in, in, in the backyard. And fortunately, there have been no reports of any damage to any property or any injuries. That's the good news. But that video that you saw right there, well, we have turned that over to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. They tell me that they are continuing to investigate. For now, in Lauderdale Isles, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, Roy, thank you.